What's going on guys, Apathetic here, and today I'm gonna be going over my favorite loadout for trials and going over the, the loadouts I prefer to use in terms of my weapons, and then also going over my armor, what mods I prefer to use, and lastly covering what stats you should be focusing on for your builds, whether that's Titan, Hunter, or Warlock. With that, let's get into it. Jumping into my loadout, starting with my subclass, and a lot of times people ask in my comment section, Hapa, what subclass is the best? What subclass is your favorite? Honestly, I don't really have a favorite, and in terms of my the subclasses I use, it honestly depends on the map. So for example, on Cauldron, I use Top Tree Storm because those the arc web was just so good for that map in terms of chaining and setting up kills and pushes. When it was Widow's Core, I used Top Tree John with a sniper, and that allowed me to get some verticality and really get some crazy angles on people. Burnout, I used Bottom Tree uh, Void Walker for Devour, and that build allowed me to you know, you know, tank a lot of damage and really anchor the middle. So really just depends on the map, but again, my top three would probably be Top Tree Dawn, Top Tree Storm, and Bottom Tree Void with Middle Tree, uh, middle tree Void as a close fourth, but I really like middle tree void as well lately even even though a lot of people feel like it wasn't buffed enough but moving on let's jump into my weapons and i have two kind of loadouts i run here first one is thorn mind benders and hammerhead now the reason i run thorn instead of something like spare rations is because i don't really use an exotic in my heavy but i also like thorn because of the burn damage so the burn damage is amazing for helping delay reses in trials because that tick damage is preventing that res just a little bit also, I love the fact that when you get a kill, you creates that remnant. So that's going to strengthen your weapon. And with that remnant and that buff to thorn and that additional tick damage, I have, it allows you to kill enemies so much faster. I mean, it'll kill people out of super when they're trying to res their teammates. Just it, it really creates a snowball effect with this weapon, which I really, really like. The mind benders, of course, I just use any shotgun that has quick draw. If I didn't have this as quick draw, but I had an astral horizon with quick draw, I'd probably change to that loadout. But having a quick draw on your shotgun is in my opinion, a must have. If it doesn't have quick draw on it, I don't want it. So my inventors shouldn't be any uh, question marks here on why I use this special shotgun in the game. I mean, outside of Astral Horizon, but my role is trash, but we're not gonna talk, talk about it. Moving on to my other loadout. So this is the loadout I used on Widow's Court. I used my Revoker with a Waking Vigil. And the reason I use Revoker instead of something like Beloved, even though in my opinion, I feel Beloved feels better, is because of that reversal of fortune so strong so hard to be allows you to play a lot more aggressive with the shots you take and not to be so picky and choosy or if for whatever reason your shot shot is just off on one you know part of the engagement you're not punished and now you have zero ammo i mean even though technically you should be punished but that's why i use revoker and then i pair it with waking vigil because i have this nice roll here work shit opening shot slide shot range masterwork nice amount of handling and i like running with waking vigil because i don't really like the hard light or auto rifle kind of play style of just holding the trigger down and like playing like singular lanes. I like the running gun style of waking vigil in combination with my revoker. So feels really, really good. And you'll also see that my build is set up better for hand cannons and snipers as well. So that's why I like running that combination together. And again, in terms of my heavy, I don't really use heavy. And in trials, I typically to play more to keep people off heavy, heavy and let my teammates get it. That's why I have my hammerhead. I mean, it's whatever nothing too special it does have max range which is or close to max range which is nice but again nothing really special here in terms of my artifact i try to have thunder coil and lightning strikes twice in this round and then of course the reload perks thunder coil if you're running arc subclass you need to run this it's just so op especially on bottom tree striker and on my top tree storm it actually allowed me to kill some supers because you hit that shoddy shot and if it lands or connects fully you follow up with this and they're going to be almost dead for most supers so super super powerful and great for mode like trials where everybody is just using it whatever they can to win moving on to my armor and i'm gonna go over my armor before i jump into stats and most important things and my armor here is all gonna be a uh, void affinity uh, except for my boots and the reason for that is is because it gives me access to either enhanced hand cannon targeting or enhanced sniper rifle targeting. So I'm usually either using one of these two. If I'm running my sniper loadout, I'll throw this on. If not, I have this on. And I feel like that makes uh, the aim assist better. I've also heard it gives you kind of like a snapshot type effect. Don't know if that's actually true or not, but hey, anything helps, even if it's placebo, right? Moving on to my gloves, I run recovery mods um, with enhanced small arm loader. I run double just to make it a little bit faster. I don't know how much it actually makes it faster, but 
I just do it because I don't really have anything else like I'd want to use, not even fastball really. And moving on to my chest piece, this is where I have a resilience mod here. And again, I'll cover why I use these things uh, when I get to the stats. But enhanced unflinching hand cannon aim. I was lucky enough to get this this past week on the nightfall when it was glitched. And for me, I feel like this actually really made a big difference when I was playing in trials this past weekend on Cauldron. I feel like my character still shows like a physical flinch, but my bullets are all still going where they were supposed to go. I can't remember a single time this weekend where I was like, oh my God, he flinched my hand cannon or that annoying feeling where you, you, you're you missing shots where they feel they shouldn't connect. I feel like all my shots were landing exactly where they were supposed to, even when I was getting hit. So could again be just placebo, but I feel like this definitely made a difference in my hand cannon shot this past weekend. Moving on to my boots, my transverse steps, and I have a special ammo scavenger on there, and you'll notice they're not masterworked. I'll talk about that in a second, but a special ammo, sca ammo scavenger to get a little bit extra ammo for your sniper or your shoddy. Super crucial to get that one extra bullet because again, that allows you to collect more special ammo, especially if you're not dying between rounds, and that's gonna allow you to just dish out a ton of, ton more damage to, your t to the enemy team because you're just collecting so much ammo. And again, helps with like that kind of snowball effect. Now, you're probably wondering, Apple, why didn't you masterwork these? Because the stat roll is trash, absolutely terrible. I was grinding Nightfall last week and I couldn't get a better roll. That's why I will not masterwork these until I get a better roll. It is what it is, but that's why I have to. I, I could probably have a way better stat distribution if I could just fix or get a better roll on these transversive steps. Now, talking about transversive steps, why do I use it? A lot of people ask, well, Apple, what about Ophidian? What about Karn scenes? Whatever, Crown of Tempest, all these different ones. The reason I use transversive steps, guys, I'm going to level with you. I'll be honest. I am trash without this exotic. I play so differently. I feel like I play so much worse because all of my mess muscle memory is built around this exotic from the sprint speed to, you know, ensuring my guns are always loaded to how far I slide and not like short stopping and falling short and barely doing any damage to my shotgun or missing my melee. So many different things that I get impacted by. I've tried running Karnstein and I play fine, but I feel like with this, I play next level. Even when I'm sniping, I feel like I play better with transversive because I just feel like my movement is so much more fluid and seamless. I'm not being interrupted by reloads or anything like that. So I absolutely love transversive steps. I can't recommend them enough, but at the same time, the exotic you choose is gonna be deeply personal to your play style and what you wanna do. So again, if you use something else, I'm not gonna be upset. And obviously I'm gonna use transversive because apparently I can't play without them. So there's that. Moving on to our bond, nothing really special here. It is masterworked. And I have a recovery mod in Thunder Quail, which I just talked about. But if I wasn't running Thunder Quail, if I wasn't running Arc Subclass, I would run double pump action just to get a little bit extra super energy on those shotgun kills, which is super helpful, especially in trials, because again, as you go a little bit lower intellect, but also get your super that much quicker. Moving on to my st the stats and the stats that you should be focusing on the most and that is going to be recovery guys people in my comments ask this all the time appa what stats should i focus on recovery 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 i've seen some people do this thing where they like try to do like an even amount in each section that is no that is like being a jack of all trades and a master of none your character is not going to be really really strong and everything they're just kind of okay at everything you want to be really strong in recovery because you're having high recovery makes your character so much more lethal. You recover from engagements faster, which will throw off your enemies and they won't be able to push you as quick or they have to push you quicker, which can cause them to make a mistake. It allows you when pushing like out of a gunfight and back to your teammates, or maybe you're flanking and maybe took some damage, you're gonna have your health back before you engage the enemy again. Not stress enough how important this is, especially on Warlock, because it's a tied to how fast we get our rift back and the rift in trials is so incredibly strong not only for yourself but for your teammates it'll allow you to win so many engagements and play a little bit sloppier if you want and peak angles that maybe you, you shouldn't because you know you can take that little bit of extra damage because you're sitting in your rift and you're gonna get back so much quicker so i would focus on this number one and then you know you can pick a number two for me when i look at armor stats on my armor i focus on recovery and discipline and you know try to get like armor with those high stat rolls and then kind of fill in everything else one thing i do wish is that my resilience could be a little bit higher again if i got better transversive steps that weren't just so garbage i could probably get that easily but 
is what it is. The goal is you want to try to get stuff in increments of 10. That's going to make your, your distribution a lot e more even and hopefully cause you to have a little bit less wasted points. But to be honest, I'm not going to get super technical on this. Just focus on recovery. And then like if you're a hunter and you're like, oh my God, I need my dodge. Cool. Focus on recovery and mobility then or whatever you're, you feel is most important to you in your play style. But recovery should come number one. Everything else is number two. Okay. Also having higher intellect is super helpful. But again, if you're running double pump action, like I suggested, that will help with that as well. So guys, again, hope this helped out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe as it's a free way to support me. Also, don't forget to catch me on twitch.tv forward slash apathetic. Having some great streams over there, guys. And this is where I can answer questions about like stats and armor rules and things like that live. If you have them for me, hope to see you there. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.